now what are the different types of probability there are various ways wherein you can do a probability estimation okay we will broadly define these ways into two groups one is the objective estimation of the probability and another is the subjective estimation of the probability think about let's say i want to know what is the probability that india is going to win against pakistan okay now if you ask this question to a die hard fan of indian team he will say that the probability of india winning will be equal to 1 okay now here is a it's a subjective probability that right? he has just given a uh, based on his gut feeling or based on his emotional attachment so actually your subjective probability is your gut feeling what uh, your gut is saying okay so from there whatever the probability estimation that you do so needless to say that this is not regarded as a much a uh, good estimation technique okay we want to do some analysis which is uh, objective in nature so what is objective probability objective probability is wherein you apply some brain you apply your brain and you try to decipher what should be the probability there are two ways in which the probability it can be estimated which is coming under this heading of objective probability first is your empirical probability Okay, now what is empirical probability? Empirical probability is from the historical data. So what we say is, let's say suppose between India and Pakistan, I want to know what is the probability that India will win. So what I will say is like, okay, in the past I will see that how many matches both of them have played. So let's say there are 500 matches between India and Pakistan in the past, and we find that India has won 300 out of those. 500 matches so the probability of india winning would be the favorable outcome which is 300 divided by the total outcome which is 500 we'll say that the probability of india winning is 0.6 okay note that this is based on the historical estimate you say that okay uh, from the past this is the trend and india would maintain this trend but in reality this is no, uh, not a good method to estimates because what happens let's say in the past pakistan team was very strong can they had won many matches but now what is the pakistan team is not strong so if india and pakistan plays the chances of india winning is more right so in that case what we'll do is this historical method or empirical method will fail we have to rely on another method which is called as the a priori method okay now as is this a priori method what it does is it does objective analysis okay considering the current scenario Okay, so it considers the current scenario, and based on that, it considers a probability. So what it does is, okay, in case of a priori probability, it tries to see what is the pitch condition. Okay, it tries to see that what is the composition of Indian team and what is the composition of Pakistani team. Okay, also where the match is played. Okay, the form of the different different players. So all of these the complex analysis you are going to do. and from this complex analysis you should be able to estimate the probability of india winning against pakistan so needless to say that this a priori probability is the most complex method okay this is just seeing the historical data whereas subjective is just your gut feeling